Hi everyone! Welcome to Artsonia's After School Art Club. Today we have a fun art project from Megan Glass, an art teacher from Pennsylvania. Hope you enjoy the video and don't forget to have your artwork uploaded to your Artsonia gallery. Hi friends, my name is Megan Glass and I am an elementary art teacher at Mercer Area Elementary School in Western Pennsylvania. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed this project. We're going to be creating a simplified version of Vincent Van Gogh's Starry Night. Here's what you're going to need to use. Some watercolor paper or a thick cardstock, a messy mat to catch any extra paint, pencil, oil pastels, we need yellow, orange, and white, some blue watercolor paint, water, brushes of different sizes, a towel or a cloth, a fork that can get a little bit of paint on it, and some tempera paint, or if you would like, you may use acrylics if you're allowed. There are six colors that we need, yellow, blue, green, red, orange, and black. So we're going to need our pencil first. We're going to map out our picture by drawing just a few things. We're going to draw the cypress tree and just a nice wavy line to split the sky and the ground. So I am going to start with the cypress tree. The cypress tree is just a fun, wavy, jaggedy shape. So don't feel like it has to be exactly like mine. So to keep it with how Starry Night looks, I'm going to do this on the left side of my paper. So I'm going to start at the bottom. I'm going to curve out, and come up and make a point and dip down and make a couple tall points kind of looks like a flame that's what my students always say so i'm going to make this cypress tree right on the left here and then i am going to make a curving line that starts a little bit low it's going to go a little bit behind this cypress tree and curve up just a bit so i'm going to start here and remember if i go too fast you can pause the video so now I have the tree, this will all be the ground, and the sky. Now, when I do this project with my students, we just simplify all this. There's some details of like a church and some houses, but there's lots of just blues and greens and swirls. You can see that Vincent Van Gogh used lots of swirling lines in his paintings. So that's what we're going to focus on. So what we're going to do first is focus on the sky with the stars and the moon. Now, I'm not going to draw out the moon with a pencil. I'm just gonna go ahead and use a oil pastel. So I'm going to go in with an orange oil pastel and in the top right I'm going to make a curve. It looks like I'm going to make a circle. I'm going to go almost the whole way around and then I'm going to stop. A little bit more closed like a letter a C but a little bit more closed. So just like we're missing part of the circle. And I'm going to come down hook back around and curve up. Now if your crescent moon doesn't work out too well, that's okay. Just close it all over and make it a full moon. It doesn't have to be exact. So now I'm going to color in with some yellow and if it mixes in with the orange, that's okay. That's kind of what I want to do. So you can see how I'm kind of grabbing that yellow right over top of the orange and coloring in side of the moon so it turns into an orangish yellow color like we see in the starry night. So I'm going to go ahead and make some swirls, these dotted swirling lines right around the moon. And I'm going to use lots of yellow for this. I'm going to go back in with my orange and make some dots all in my sky. And these dots are going to be the stars, making more of those dotted lines going right around the stars. So I like to do the stars first. Once you've done these dotted lines with yellow, I like to go in with the white around the stars too. Now you might think, why are we using white? I even go around the moon with the white. You can't see this white because the paper is white, but you will see it once we paint the sky with the blue watercolor, so just be patient. 
Once you have all of the white around your stars and moon, I'm going to go in and start working on some of these swirls that we see. So I'm just going to add lots of lines, making lots of big swirls. And yours doesn't have to look exactly like the Starry Night. Mine doesn't look exactly like, like it either. So I am just making lots of beautiful white swirls. And I'm going to go in with a couple yellow. You can see I got a little orange in there and that's okay too. So I'm making some of the yellow that goes above the hillside adding in some yellow lines, just a touch here and there. So once you're finished with the oil pastel and you're happy with how it looks, and sometimes if you kind of turn your paper, you can see what that white oil pastel looks like, how it catches the light. So now I'm gonna use a big fluffy brush and I'm going to wake up my blue watercolor, get a nice puddle in there, make sure it's nice and wet, and I'm gonna go ahead and paint my sky. And you wanna make sure you have a good amount of water. So I can use a little bit more water. And what happens is the oil and water don't mix. So it kind of resists and does not cover over those lines that we made with the oil pastel. So I'm gonna go ahead and work on painting my night sky. And if I get a little bit into that cypress tree, it's okay. You just wanna make sure you can still see your pencil line. So I'm gonna go around it just a little bit, but if it gets into it a bit, that's okay. We wanna make sure that we get all of the sky and it's okay if it gets a little bit into the cypress tree. Okay, so now that I'm happy with how my sky looks, I am going to go ahead and work on the uh, bottom where the ground is. So this part is really fun and really quick and simple. Now, as you saw, I kind of sped up the video. Please feel free to pause the video anytime so you can catch up with your watercolor painting. And then we're going to go ahead and start working with the tempera paints. So I'm going to continue with my big fluffy brush and I'm going to use a little bit of green and I'm just going to start painting in some big brush strokes with different swirls. This is just a simplified, more simple version than Van Gogh did with his. So I'm going to go in with my green first all around the bottom. So you can see there's some white spaces peeking through and that's okay. I'm going to clean off my brush, scrubbing it on the bottom of my water cup. And then I wanna dry it on the cloth. This is not watercolor paint, so you don't want your brush to be too watery. We wanna use a nice dry brush. So I'm going to dip into the blue. And while this green is still wet, I'm going to add this blue. And that way I get some areas of just blue, some areas that'll be blue green, and some areas that will just remain green. So notice I'm not painting over every area and I'm just using more of these swirls like Vincent Van Gogh uses in his painting. So once you have the whole ground covered, there's no white showing, then we can move on to the cypress tree. So once you are ready to work on the cypress tree, you wanna have a nice clean and dry brush. So I'm going to be using the red and the orange on the cypress tree first. Now you might be wondering, well, why? Because that doesn't look very red and orange. There's some brown and kind of brighter tints that are in there. So what I'm going to do is I am just going to fill this shape 
with some red and orange. And when I do this with my students, they're always very confused. And I always say, you just have to trust Mrs. Glass. She does know what she's talking about. It will turn out great. Okay, once you have all of your orange finished, you are going to wanna do this next step pretty quickly. So I wanna make sure that my brush is nice and dry and I'm actually going to go in probably with a smaller brush. Nice dry brush and you're going to be painting right over top of everything you just did with the orange and red with lots of paint. We really don't want the red and orange to mix in with the black. We're, it's like we're painting a layer over the red and orange with the black paint. So to do that, so it doesn't really mix in, you wanna use a good amount of paint and just kind of pull that paintbrush towards you. Notice how I use long brush strokes. I'm not swirling around on this step. I'm using long brush strokes and covering up this entire cypress tree. And this step is one that you wanna work a little bit quickly. So once you're finished with your black, you'll wanna go ahead in with your fork and you're going to want to make some swirls and some lines right over top. And you'll see that red and orange peeking through and it makes some really nice textures and lines just like we see in Vincent Van Gogh's. cypress tree. So once you're happy with how that looks, then you can just set this aside to dry. Thank you so much for joining me today. I really hope that you frame these beautiful Starry Night paintings. Hope to see you again.